Gamson Entertainment. Hello and welcome back to another movie review. I saw two last night, The Secret Life of Pets and The BFG. I'm going to be making two separate videos. Unfortunately, my brother was not with me to watch these, but these are great movies. I want to see them again with my brother so we can both review them. So these, don't worry, these are going to be spoiler free. I'll save the spoilers for the Spoiled Brothers edition of these. The Secret Life of Pets. Take Toy Story 1, 2, and 3 and put it and switch it out for pets instead of toys. You would think that would be a ripoff. I initially didn't want to see this movie. I wanted the drive-in experience again because it is awesome. And again, I recommend you go to a drive-in theater. Look it up. You might have a drive on your hands. It's worth it. At least at the drive-in theater I went to, Circle Drive-In, it has a double feature for each screen. And it was only $8. Unfortunately, I can't speak for drive-ins near you, but you can't beat that for an adult price. It's $5 for kids like... 3 to 12 or something like that. Really great prices and great experience. I remember going as a kid. Wow, wow, this really takes me back. We had an Omni, a silver Omni, and we would take out a really thick quilt. And my brother and I would lay on top of the roof and watch the film while we listened to it on the radio. Now, they used to issue out radios that sat on the, the window of your car when your window was down. But that's the reason why I recommend you bring your own portable radio. Or else you're using your car, and I'm pretty sure they don't let you run your car. And you don't want to kill your battery either. So bring a portable radio and tune into the station that they, that they uh, tell you to tune into. That's how you listen to the movie. They do have speakers, at least at the one I was at, but you had to be like right next to the concession stand, and that's not the best of views. As I said before I got off track, I thought this was going to be a huge ripoff of Toy Story, because this, this is a universal film, this isn't a Disney film. And it's not. It's the same concept, but when it's done with pets, it's just completely and utterly different. And <laughs> they get all the pet quirks to a T. It's a the main character is Max. I uh, I can only I think he's a lemon beagle. Lemon beagles are only brown and white. Uh, I'm not sure they don't they don't name all the species of animals in here, but I. We're going to go with Lemon Beagle. That's what he looks like. But they get all the quirks right. He has his owner, Katie, leaves, and he's like waiting at the door. He's like, when's she coming back? When's she coming back? When's she coming back? When's she coming back? She comes back like two seconds later because she forgot something. He's like, oh, it's been forever. Where have you been? Where have you been? I can't believe you're back. I was like, oh, where are you going? <laughs> the running joke that the dogs have no concept of time. Two seconds, two hours, two days. It's all the same to them. Eternity. <laughs> they keep the running joke of cats being vain and don't care about anyone else. As you saw from the trailers, the premise, like I said, is like Toy Story. Another dog gets brought into the home and they immediately have issues. But it doesn't last there. That's what's great about it. It, it brings in the similar storylines, but it makes it its own. <laughs> and the, the character that steals the show is is Kevin Hart's character. Oh, God. I can't remember his character's name. But he plays a little white bunny. <laughs> and he's a criminal mastermind of an underground animal resistance against humans. <laughs> Yeah, this movie is just amazing. I 
If I talk anymore, I'm going to go into spoiler territory, and I don't want to, because this movie is just too good to spoil. I highly recommend you go out and see Secret Lives of Pets. This movie is not just for kids, it's for adults, because it will grab you nostalgically. It's like, oh, I remember this when I was growing up, and now they made it again in their own way. They made their own, they did a great job with it. Uh, this had me laughing most of the time. Great, great film. Tomorrow on TV Tuesday is Frasier. Writing Wednesday, you will read more about the alien race I'm writing about. I hear you're having issues on downloading it. Please let me know in the comments below here and on the videos for my writing and on the Jamson Entertainment group what are those issues. I'll look them up and in the Writing Wednesday video I will address it for possible solutions. Hopefully they work out and you can read everything that I've been writing so far and learn about the, the universe I'm creating. Throwback Thursday is still a surprise and I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do for Movie Stuff Friday. If you like what you saw, like it. If you think other people will like it, share it. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. Live your imagination.